What's up YouTube, Brian here, back again with another video. And today we're gonna be talking plastics. Now, I am a certified plastics junkie. Some people are crankbait junkies, some people are topwater junkies, some people are swimbait junkies. I'm a, I'm a soft plastics junkie. I have a whole archive, a rack full of top soft plastics. I'm always buying them, I can't help myself. I just love messing around with soft plastics. Now, we're up here in the North Country, I'm in Minnesota, and we are pretty much at the end of our fishing season. The, uh, the ice is about to come, winter's kicking in, the boat's put away, so this video is me looking back at this 2021 fishing season and really reflecting on what are the baits that I used this season that actually caught me a lot of fish and that actually, I had to reorder a couple times because I was blowing through them. So I, I usually stockpile stuff, I go through my inventory, and these are the baits that I've actually had to replenish a couple times this year because I've gone through so many of them. And these are now what I would consider my top five like confidence baits, baits, confidence, confidence baits. Now, baits that I've used like four or five years ago used to be confidence baits and they've been replaced. Confidence baits are something that's always evolving and changing. Something new comes out, you use it, you catch a couple fish on it, suddenly you're bumping off the baits that you used to use for the new stuff. That's just how it works. Um, fishing companies are fantastic at marketing to us and showing us the latest, greatest, best thing and convincing us it's better than the thing we were using and then we start using it. And it's just the way the fishing churn goes in the industry. And I'm a victim of it, everybody's a victim of it. Do you, need, do you need to use the latest Haas bait? No, you can use stuff that you've been using for years, but you know, I got ADD and I like playing around with plastics. So I, I figured out what are, everybody loves a list, right? You gotta have a list. So we're gonna go through five. I just picked a number, we're gonna go five. We're gonna go with five plastics that I use this year that really caught a lot of fish. And then I'm gonna have two honorable mentions at the end of this video. So if you wanna fast forward to that, go ahead. But every Minnesotan, Wisconsin, everybody up in North Country basically throws the same two baits. Uh, because they work really well up here. And uh, I didn't include them in my top five because I think it's a little too obvious. If you're watching here and you're a local guy in Minnesota, you're gonna be like, you know, you know exactly two of the baits that will probably make my top five list. So I'm bumping those to the end. And I'm gonna make them honorable mentions because it's just a little too like, oh, of course, why everybody throws those. So anyway, let's start off with finesse. Now, I fish both smallmouth and largemouth uh, in the Twin Cities in Minnesota here, and even in a little bit in Wisconsin, I like to fish largemouth on the natural grass lakes, but also, I also spend a lot of time in Wisconsin and then up in northern Minnesota where we fish smallmouth. So I'm not sp splitting it out. I'm going to talk about baits that I've used for smallmouth and largemouth. I'm just going based purely on how much I've caught with them. So to kick it off, we're going to talk about the Spark Shad. Now the Spark Shad is the Mega Bass Soft Plastic Paddle Tail. Personally, I use the three inch and the four inch the most. I use the three inch the most on a ball headed jig uh, for smallmouth. Now, I use the four inch for uh, swim jig trailers. So I'm, I'm not talking, in this list, I'm not including any trailers. Like I'm not talking about the, the Zacco or the Spunk Shed or any of those. I, for these are, these are gonna be standalone plastics I'd use. None of these are considered trailers. So I, um, I'm gonna talk about that maybe in a different video. I'll do a trailer plastic video or something. But anyway, let's jump into this. This is the Mega Bass Spark Shed. If you're not familiar with this, this is a small mouth catcher. The Spark Shad is a very, very good, especially the three inch, very fantastic little paddle tail swim bait. Now, the way I fish this bait is I almost always throw it on a bald headed jig. You can use the Kitek bald head jig. I use Gamagatu. Any kind of bald head jig is gonna be fine. Um, I fish this individually and this thing gets crushed by smallmouth all year, spring, summer, fall. If there's a smallmouth and you drag a spark, a spark shad across their face, they are likely going to eat it. This catches big fish, this catches smallmouth, I'm sorry, small fish, this catches walleyes, this catches pike. Everything eats the spark shad. It's just a really great versatile bait. I always have them in my boat. If I'm gonna only pick out one swim bait to throw all day for smallies, I'm picking up a spark shad over a Kitek or any of the other plenty of numbered, there's a million paddle tail swim baits, but this guy just gets bit. It's got a, it's got a, um, a really wide body. Um, I know a lot of people put these on the back of A-Rigs. You can use the bigger sizes for A-Rigs, even maybe the smaller one for like a finesse A-Rig. I don't know, I'm not a big A-Rig person, but uh, also this is a great bait to throw on the back of the Okashira screw head. Now I'm not showing hardware in this video, but just know that if you're gonna throw the Okashira screw head or a ball head jig, the Spark Shed is the best bait you can throw on this thing. If you're a smallmouth angler, you gotta have these in the boat or in your kayak or in your bag, whatever. But anyway, the Mega Bass Spark Shed is a confidence bait. It gets bit. I've caught, I've caught 
four pound smallmouth, I've caught five pound smallmouth, I've caught largemouth. Everything eats the spark jet. It's a fantastic bait. There's a lot of great colors. Go check them out. All these baits you can buy at Omnia. I'm going to put links in the description and you can use my code for all this stuff. So number two, Ned Riggs. Now Ned Riggs are a bait. I, I've been throwing Ned Riggs for years. Um, I almost always used to throw them on just a straight TRD. I still throw a lot of the Z-Man TRDs and the Ticklers and the Hula Sticks. I love those baits. They're still great. But for some reason, the Roboworm Ned wasn't really on my radar when it came out. So when the Roboworm dropped its Ned rigs or its Ned plastics, I was like, um, why would I use that? I use the I use the TRDs and the Z-Man stuff and the Z-Man stuff works and it gets bit and I, I don't have a problem with it. Why switch? I started picking up these Robo Worms this year just to try something different, and man, these things get crushed. I've caught some of the biggest largemouth that I've caught all season, like four or five pound fish, have been on the Robo Worm uh, Ned Plastic. I throw this on a Josh Douglas Perfect Ned Head all, at all times. It's the only Ned Head I use anymore. So for some reason, man, this thing doesn't float. It lays down. It doesn't stand straight up like people think every Ned Bait has to do. Uh, but for some reason, man, this thing in green pumpkin, this thing in, green, in morning dawn, even like the brighter, flashier colors on this bait, I have gotten smashed on. For some reason, man, this thing catches fish. Now its downside is, is this thing is heavily salted. The problem with being heavily salted is they shred. So I will say that if you catch a couple smallmouth or a big largemouth on this and they fight you a lot, this thing is a, this thing is sometimes a, a one hit wonder. So stock up on them. They're not that expensive. But I can definitely say that the Robo Worm Ned plastics are completely 100% legit. In fact, I throw these almost more than the, the, the Z-Man plastics nowadays. I don't know why. I just like them. They work. I've caught four or five pound smallmouth, four or five pound largemouth on these things, and they are awesome. So definitely seal of approval. A new confidence bait for me this year. Really like the Robo Worm Ned plastics. So... Spark Shads, Robo Worm. I have to bring up the Hazadon Shad. So another Mega Bass bait. We're, we've got two Mega Bass Plastics in, the, in this top five list. Now, if you're not familiar with the Hazadon, it's a very it's different than the Spark Shad in that it is much, much thinner. Look how thin the Hazadon is. So let's look at that up real close. Very thin profile, very slender body, um, very small snack. Now, what do... What does the Hazadon excel at? Drop shot. This has become my number one smallmouth drop shot bait this year. I started using it the last couple years, and then I would alternate with other things. A lot of people are like, flatworms, flatworms, flatworms. Sure, Hazadon, Hazadon, Hazadon. I have gotten so much action off of this thing. When you nose hook this bait, or even you can run the hook um, through the bait and make it come out the back, either way it works. But when you throw this around smallmouth, they go nuts. Um, I use the active target a lot now, targeting smallmouth. So I'm using my forward facing sonar. I pitch this out on a drop shot and you should see the reaction that fish give this bait when it comes to the water and it goes down. And then you start swimming the um, drop shot to you and you put in a little action, just read a little bit. I've seen it on my active target. I've watched smallmouth schools just come unglued when this thing enters their neighborhood they all start fighting over it they come and just crush it so the hazenon shad is an amazing smallmouth drop shot bait you have to be throwing this if you're a drop shot fisherman and you go after those brown bass so hazenon i've gone through so many of these things they do actually hold up pretty well the durability on these things for being so thin is actually pretty good um the the only part is the nose and the head get chewed up on them first before the body so when you're running the hook through the body like if you like kind of Texas rig it a little bit, but you have like that, not Texas rig, but you put the, the hook all the way through the body, you will get a lot more fish out of it. Uh, it doesn't chew it up as much, but when you do nose hook it through the head, it will get chewed up a little bit and you're going to go through more of them. But there's a lot of great colors. Uh, the Disco Stain, I don't have them right here, but the Disco Stain fishing out in Wisconsin is amazing. That color just works. Um, but anyway, this color is the... Uh, Ah, Wagasaki. So this is the Wagasaki color. I don't know if this is a JDM exclusive color or this is a US color. I'm not sure. I can't keep them straight. Uh, the Hazadon Shad has colors that are only available in the Japanese market and, and Hookup Tackle gets some of those sometimes. But they do have a lot of great colors that are in the US market that you can get right now down on Omnia. 
Um, discount codes don't typically apply for Mega Bass Plastics, but you know what? They're worth every penny, pay full price. They're awesome. All right, so we've gone through the Robo Ned, the Spark Shad, the Hazenock Shad, and now this one is going to be predictable for anybody who knows me because I talk about this bait all the time, and that is the X Zone Muscleback Craw, the three and a quarter inch craw. This bait has been life changing for me since I got turned on to it a couple of years ago. This stupid little three inch craw is the bait I use for almost everything. This is a extremely versatile, really great size craw. This is a this has become my number one jig trailer. You can throw this on a swing head. You can throw this on a Ned rig. You can throw this on like finesse jigs. Everything you can just Texas rig it. It's it's small. Um, so maybe not Texas rigging it like straight, but uh, there's just so many uses for this craw. It has become my just go-to. I have so many packs of these. I throw them on everything. I throw them on football jigs. I throw them on, um, like I said, Ned rigs. It's just a really great versatile craw. What's cool about it is, is its size and its profile is perfect for pretty much anything. The um, It's got flanged flippers, so you can definitely use this as a trailer for like a swim jig. Um, it does give you a little bit of action, but also this thing stands up. So you're getting the best of both worlds where you're getting that flappy paddles, um, but you're also getting a bait that is going to rise and have a little bit of lift when it hits the water. So um, the Muscleback three and a half inch craw is just my go-to plastic for almost anything that is craw related. You can't go wrong. It's really killer on a swing head, um, out dragging on like rocky smallmouth lakes. Walleyes crush this thing, largemouth crush this thing. It's a great dock bait. I mean, just everything. I used to throw a lot of chigger craws and I used to throw a lot of rage menace. So I had so many rage menace. I had so many chigger craws. This one bait has replaced rage, uh, the rage grubs and the chigger craws in my lineup. I just only throw these now. I mean, I actually have a whole bunch of packs of rage grubs, like rage menace that just are sitting there. And I'm not using them anymore because I like the Exxon muscle back finesse. They're cheap. They're really versatile bait. You can just have a whole bunch of these in your bag and find all sorts of uses for them. So definitely legit. I love these baits. Just the great all-purpose ATV crayfish bait. So anyway, last bait. Now this one has been a little bit of a surprise for me. This is the four and a quarter inch Adrenaline Craw from Exxon. This is a new bait. It came out this year. This bait has become my go-to Texas rig bait for largemouth. This sucker has become just an all-around ATV Texas rig bait for me. It's great around grass. It's great around docks. It's great around rocks. It's anywhere largemouth are, this bait can go. It's got big, long, flanged flappers. So let me show you the profile there. You see how big those flappers are? Um, it's got a really, really nice thick body with a great crevice in here for putting your hook. So I have found that this is a great grass fishing bait. Now, anytime I'm fishing coontail, milfoil, deep weeds, shallow weeds, anything like that, I am throwing this on a like a four-aught um, ringed EWG hook with a bullet sinker. Sometimes peg, sometimes not. I don't think it really matters all that much. But this thing just gets bit. This is just such a fun bait to use. Uh, this has basically replaced the Rage Bug in my lineup. I used to throw a lot of the Strike King Rage Bug. And this thing lasts a little longer than the Rage Bug. Rage Bugs are kind of one-hit wonders. You can get quite a few fish out of these things. The design on this bait is nice and thick. Um, good meaty presentation. Comes through the grass so well. This thing just slides in and out of grass. Uh, I love this bait. Um, it has become one of my number one confidence baits for Texas rigging. Um, I've caught so many largemouth on this thing this year. Uh, great Texas rig bait, like I said. Now, there's a new version of this. Oh, this is the color that I use the most, by the way. This is the Green Pumpkin Blue Flake. This is my number one favorite color. Uh, if I only had to buy one, this is the one I'm using. Works in clean water, dirty water. Anywhere there's largemouth, they're going to eat this green and blue uh, Blue Flake Adrenaline Caught. Great, great bait. Exo um, <clears throat> knocked it out of the park with these things. There's a smaller version now. This, these just came out pretty recently. I have not actually used these. I just got this pack in. So here's the, the three inch version versus the four inch version. So I'm gonna try this guy on uh, jigs and uh, football 
like finesse football jigs and stuff. So the jury's still out on this guy. Maybe this guy would be a good replacement or a complement to the um, muscleback croc because they're basically the same size. Actually, let me take out a muscleback croc compared to this guy. So it's kind of interesting because this is three and a quarter. So the muscleback claw, claw is three and a quarter and the adrenaline, the mini adrenaline is three and a half. So you can see it's a little longer. Both these are kind of the same. Not too much difference. This guy's a little longer. This is a three and a quarter, three and a half. So anyway, just, I like X-Cone. X-Cone makes great baits. They, their Ned bait is really good. It's it's pretty much as, I use the X-Zone Ned a lot until I got my hands on the Robo and I'm using the Robo all the time, but X-Zone, just all of the products in the X-Zone lineup, to be perfectly honest, are great. Their worms are good. Their flipping baits are good. The adrenaline craws are good. The muscle black is excellent. Um, X-Zone really doesn't make a bad plastic in their lineup. Uh, they like Strike King where they just, Everything's top top notch, really good quality. Uh, very few problems with the baits ever. Great packaging. So anyway, X Zone winner, adrenaline claws winner. So we've reached the end of the video. I've covered my five baits. I got the Spark Shad, the Hezodon, then Robo Ned, the Muscleback, the Adrenaline Craw, and I got to talk about the honorable mentions. Now, if you're watching this video and you're from my area, you're probably like, "Oh, when's he going to talk about the Craw Tube, <laughs> the Big Bite Craw Tube, and the the Muscle?" I'm sorry, the Missile d -bot. These two baits, every single person around here throws these. I throw them. I go through a lot of them. That's why I have the big pack. I actually have big packages of these d -bombs, but they're in my boat right now. Um, so I, I put these as honorable mentions. I did use these a lot, maybe as much as the other baits in the series, but I just didn't really want to feature it in the top five because everyone knows about these baits. This is no this is no secret. Uh, the, bi the Big Bite Craw Tube is just an amazing flipping bait. Uh, amazing Texas rig bait, also really good around grass. Um, I use this guy probably in conjunction with, this thing actually slides through the grass probably even better than like the Adrenaline Craw. craw, craw. So honestly, both of these are really good. Um, you can't go wrong with either. The fish up here in Minnesota see this bait all of the time. Everybody uses these craw tubes. So sometimes I don't mind busting out the Adrenaline Claw. Actually, this would probably be the bait I usually have on first nowadays. So anyway, honorable mention with the Big Bite. Um, uh, craw tube and then obviously when I'm flipping heavy like flipping flipping like we're talking if I'm flipping like an ounce three quarters of an ounce half ounce and I'm flipping heavy heavy cover I'm usually flipping the d-bomb so if you're not a if you're flipping and you're trying to figure out like what's a good flipping bait the d-bomb gets bit uh, lily pads mats reeds docks anywhere the bass are in heavy cover this thing just slides in and out it's a fantastic flipping bait it's super super slimy um tons of scent and oil on these things uh, i usually use a four aught heavy duty flipping hook uh, and i flip the crap out of these things so these are also very soft you may might get one or two fish out of these things or one or two bites and you got to replace it that's why they make big packs of these things so Anyway, honorable mentions, the craw tube and the D-bomb, they do work, they are amazing. Uh, you can't go wrong. So I think with all the plastics I've covered today, if you're getting new into bass fishing, especially if you're in the North Country, or you're on grassy natural lakes, all of the baits that I covered today are pretty much the starting baits you should go out and try. The spinning rod stuff with the Ned and the Hazenong Shad and the Spark Shad, and then the bait casting stuff with the Muscleback Craw and the Adrenaline, the Craw Tube and the D-bomb. So, I hope this was interesting. I hope I conveyed all the information I was trying to. If you've made it this far in the video, please hit like and subscribe. And also keep, keep in mind, hit the description for links for all of these products. And you can stack on my code uh, and get these from Omnia. They got all this stuff in stock. So appreciate you watching this far. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.